Hi everyone, Dr. Timothy Gallagher. And Dr. Michael Marciello. And we're from Margal Medical. Well folks, today we're gonna to be talking about injury prevention for the fastest growing sport in America. You're gonna learn a lot about things that you can do if you're a pickleball player to make sure that you can stay on the court and be healthy throughout the summer. It's gonna be a lot of great information today, so stay tuned. Pickleball. This sport has been growing leaps and bounds. I know my mom started to play last year. My in-laws out in California. This is a big part of their life. They, my father-in-law plays every day. And we're starting to see a lot more patients uh, that come into the office uh, that are getting injuries from pickleball. And in fact, just on last week's news, it's affecting healthcare <laughs> costs in general. So. Um, there's some things that we can do to help prevent those injuries and make sure that, you know, pickleball is a much safer sport, correct? Uh, sure. Um, again, we, we think about a little short, short of a, of a racket for your tennis <laughs> Yeah, it's so, not a tennis uh, racket. <laughs> it, so, the, so the concept is we traditionally have known about tennis much more than pickleball. Although who talks about tennis nowadays when pickleball is around? So the concept is there aren't similarities you have to use your arm, there's a racket involved, but we got to go side to side, lateral movements, the, the court is a little bit tighter spaces. And who really plays pickleball? And mostly older, older patients. Yeah. So when you come back to a different crowd of players, the preparation of play is now getting more popular because people are getting better and more competitive. But as a casual fun game, you forget that things could happen and people could get injured or they may not be prepared in preparation for the game that they're gonna play so injuries can occur. Yeah, and you know, case in point, I know when we go up to California to see my in-laws, they've got a wonderful facility. My father-in-law, you know, he's a young 81-year-old. Um, uh, he plays every day. Tennis is just not an option for him. He's got a, a partially replaced knee, but boy, he goes out on the pickleball courts. He's playing for a couple of hours at a time. I think too, when my mom fully retired, um, she was interested in, in adding some social activities. I know, you know, here in Lemonster, just Doyle Field's got a great facility in Fitchburg. They have that game on facility with pickleball courts there. It's rising in popularity. The big concern, it's balance. And the one thing with pickleball, particularly as you emphasize, this is an older patient population where, you know, uh, flexibility, mobility, and balance have definitely decreased over time. And in my mom's case, you got lucky a couple of times. Instinctively, you wanna move backwards. You can't do that because if you fall, you can fall on your head. And we have such a, a wonderful opportunity to help these, um, these athletes, these pickleball players, you know, by doing an assessment on the physical exam, on the physical medicine side, you can look at these patients from top to bottom and really make sure that it's going to be safe for them to get out there and start playing, correct? Uh, sure, and, and we think about our, our Hanover machine yeah. here. I mean, if we think about balance and we're using the uh, robotics technology to actually do that pre-screening, that's what we're really looking at, how to prevent some of these injuries. It's a different sport for sure. I mean, years of my practice, I've never saw people who had a hip replacement or a knee replacement go back out and play tennis. Yeah. You are seeing that going out and playing pickleball. Yeah. And so the people who've gone through these injuries or gone through surgeries and have their, their lower extremities primarily changed, there's a lot of perception that is lost in our balance. There's a lot of you know weakness in areas that, that are forgotten about when you just go back to your daily life activities and you go up and down the stairs, you're doing well from your rehab, but you're not playing sports. Right Now pickleball is another sport that actually requires that balance and again, movement from side to side, balance on one leg, going again uh, to the other leg. All those factors do play a role and I think as you just described, the tendency is again, oh, I can't get there quick enough, so again, their speed might not be there yep. and you start moving backwards you start moving backwards without some balance, you're, you're prone to, to fall or, or trip. So it's really amazing how I've seen so many patients who fall and sprain an ankle or you know even break a hip playing pickleball, but it doesn't seem to phase them. They wanna get back out in the court. When, when can I get back out there? Cause it's a fun sport, 
but it is prone to a lot of potential injuries if that person is not prepared. Yeah, and, and competitive too. Like mm. I think those that are listening that play pickleball know once you start playing, you get addictive, you know, your, your skill starts to increase, you get super competitive. And we've had a couple of very competitive uh, patients with great success with one patient that went through a very successful regenerative procedure for his knees. He, he won at a national level down in Florida. And I know here in New England, you know, right now is prime time. We've talked about some of the outdoor facilities, but a lot of these facilities also have uh, indoor access. And a lot of our patients travel south too. And when they go down south, they want to continue to be active. And this is a wonderful opportunity where you can easily come into the clinic uh, free of charge. Uh, we can easily take you through a fall risk assessment as well as go through some of the, um, we call it kind of a discovery day in our practice, the different services that are available. Um, if you're interested in setting up an appointment with Dr. Marciello, we even make that really convenient for you too, uh, where we take most insurances. So folks, uh, if you're out there and if you love the sport of pickleball or if you're just getting into the sport of pickleball, you definitely want to give us a call because we can take you through a preventative assessment so that you know where you are in terms of your overall balance, your flexibility, your core strength. And if you have an injury that's keeping you off the pickleball court, well, we can help you out significantly because we have all the options. As a physical medicine clinic, we combine both medical care, physical therapy, chiropractic treatment under one roof, and we've got a special interest and expertise in the field of regenerative medicine. So folks, you also want to stay tuned as well too. We got some exciting new programs in our practice uh, in form of medical weight loss and a great new neuropathy program that we've been talking about as well. More information can always be found on our website at marigalmedical.com. Uh, and certainly we have a wealth of information on our YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, consider subscribing. Have a great day, everyone. Be well.